We just had the ESO a prostate cancer observatory and the session was dealing with prostate cancer as the name says uh, and world leading experts were invited to give uh, a view on the future, on the next year, what's going to happen in the next year. The main highlight was how can we understand the disease in a better way. A couple of years ago, a few years ago, we only had DRE, digital, digital rectal exam, PSA, uh, for clinical staging, we had uh, the, the transrectal ultrasound and we used systemic biopsies uh, to assess the disease. But nowadays, we have multi-parametric MRI, we have PET scans, we have um, uh, novel uh, markers, uh, serum and urine markers, and they all have been uh, coming to us like a tidal wave. And we have to make sense of it all and use all of this information to better understand the disease. PSA is still, it's not dead, it's still there. We should still use it, um, but we shouldn't probably not use it as a screening test, but rather use it early enough in, in life of the patient in order to be able to rule out patients uh, for further screening. First of all, first the main uh, issue for me was that low risk prostate cancer should not be treated anymore. That should be default. And that is something very, very important because that is a big uh, chunk out of all the uh, prostate cancer population. On the other hand, patients with high risk and metastatic disease, we have to focus much more energy in treating the primary cancer and also targeting the oligometastatic uh, disease um, with targeted treatment and, and, and stop thinking that these patients probably only need systemic treatment. So we have to move from a simple systemic treatment to really personalized treatment, um, also targeting primary cancer and metastatic lesions in, uh, in patients. The session, well, they're very useful because, because they, in a nutshell, they summarize all of the, all of the spectrum of disease in prostate cancer, and um, they summarize very well what is the current state uh, of the art and what can we expect in the next 12 months.